Greetings designers! In this video I'm going to show you guys some of the multiple choice questions you can expect to see on the InDesign certification test. I'm going to focus on five questions you can expect to see on the most recent version. However, you can expect to see between 10 and 12 multiple choice and matching questions as part of your 50 minute test. All right, we can expect to see several questions having to do with document setup, one of which is what InDesign option places pages and a left to right spread for books and magazines. In order to determine what that is, we're gonna take a look at our pages panel. If you don't have your pages panel showing, you can go to window and pages to bring up that panel. And I can see right now that I have singular pages right now. They both have the same exact content on them, but if I go and add another page, you guys will see that it's actually adding a secondary or third page actually on this spread already. This is called facing pages. And we have two facing pages that close similar to what we would do with a hard copy book or a magazine that creates a spread. So the spread has two facing pages. Another question you can expect to see will have you determine what master page or what parent page you have applied on any given page within your document. You might see it listed as a parent page if you're working with the most updated version of InDesign, whereas most other content will refer to them as master pages, but they do essentially the same thing. In this document, for example, I can see that I was working with a master page A, and anything that I did on master page A, in this case, this peach background and this blue frame is going to be applied to subsequent pages in my spread that I go on the left side. So if I go on page one over here, I can see that the content in the master page was not applied because it's on the right hand side. But page two, I can see has the same exact frame and the same exact background as on my master page on the left hand side. So if the question stated, what master page is applied to page two in your document, I would be selecting master page A. That's how you can pretty much determine it. You may also expect to be asked to identify errors within your document. You're gonna be asked what InDesign panel warns designers about problems within a document, whether they're missing links or a missing font and so forth. The answer to that is pre-flight, and I'm gonna show you how you can find it. I can see at the bottom of my document here that it's telling me I have two errors, but I don't really know what they are. If I double click on the little red circle where it says two errors, I'll be able to expand my pre-flight panel and my pre-flight panel informs me about any mistakes that are within my document. So I can see right now it's telling me I have two mistakes. I have two instances of overset text. So I can basically go then and fix those errors before I export my document or I can eliminate them altogether and make changes from there on. Speaking of pre-flight, you may expect to find a question that goes something like, what is indicated by a red plus sign at the lower right corner of a text frame? This is clearly an error. It means that your text is overset. It means you have too much text for your text box. And here's how you can identify it. I'm gonna zoom in and you can see that in this text box full of placeholder text, I have a little plus sign at the bottom corner of my text box and it's telling me my text is overset. Basically the text is too big to fit in such a tiny text box. So I can actually go and click on that oversuck text and add that text box elsewhere in my document. For now, I'm placing it here in the pasteboard. Or I can basically go then and edit the text that I have, maybe making the text smaller, doing whatever it is I need to do so that I can fix the error. But whenever you guys see this little plus sign at the bottom, it just means your text is overset. Finally, you can expect to see what are two questions having to do with topography. In this question, it's asking what typographic element will adjust the space between the lines in a paragraph. So we've learned about a few typographic tools that we can use to edit text. We've learned about tracking, we've learned about kerning, and we've learned about leading. In this case, the answer is leading because it's telling us about adjusting the space between the lines in a paragraph. So lines in a block of text. I'll show you how to do it. First things first, we need to make sure that our actual text layer is selected with our type tool. 
And then in our character panel, we're actually going to be looking for this icon right here that looks like an A on top of an A. And we can actually go then and select different sizes for our letting or our line spacing. So you can see I'm selecting 48 points right now and it's adding considerable space in between each line of text. If I go and set it to 10 points, you can see how it's squished it up together. So that's essentially how you go and just edit the letting. Cool, so that sums up the five questions that I saw in the certification test and that you can expect to see as well. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions over the content that I presented for you and if you have any further suggestions as well for how I can help you pass the InDesign certification test. Let me know as well if you passed so I can celebrate your success with you and yeah, that's about it. So peace out.